Hello everyone, my name is uh, Slavczynski Tomasz. I'm from Maria Curie Skłodowska University uh, from po in Poland, Lublin. Uh, at the beginning, I would like to thank th that I can uh, present my, my research. Uh, uh, the topic of my research is international organizations in educational sector. Mm. There are still some places in the world where education is not universal and widely avail available. Uh, there are main uh, low developed and some of developed countries. It is important to foster access to education everywhere. Education guarantees the people will have the knowledge that allows them to uh, live and develop highly developed standards and international organizations support countries where there is no universal access to education or it's limited. A reminder, today education remains an incredible uh, right for millions of children around the world. More than 72 million uh, children of primary education age are not in school and uh, 759 million adults are illiter illiterate and do not have the awareness necessary to improve both their living conditions and those of children. For many children who still do not have access to education, it is notable because of persisting inequality and marginalization. In developing and developed countries alike, children do not have access to basic education because of inequalities that originate in sex, health and cultural identity, ethnic origin, language, religion, Mm, ETC. Mm, those children uh, find themselves on the margins of the education system and do not benefit from learning that is vital to the, their intellectual and social development. Um, mo most reasons are mar marginalizations and poverty mm, uh, of, of the states and the financial deficit of developing uh, countries. So the main uh, problem is one of the main problems is financing of the education most affected regions as a result of poverty and migration more than 7 to, uh, million children around the world uh, remain unschooled as was mentioned uh, mo mostly sub-saharan africa uh, the area of over 32 million children of primary school are remaining um, and educated uh, Central and Eastern Asia as well as the Pacific are also severely affected by the problem with more than 27 million educated children. Additionally, those regions must also solve continuing problems of educational poverty of children in education for less than four years and extreme education poverty a child in education for less uh, two years. Essentially, the concerns of Sub-Saharan Africa uh, where more than half of children receive an education for less than four years. In certain countries such as Somalia and Burkina Faso, more than 50% of children receive an education for a period less than two years. Uh, obviously, uh, this is good that, that those children have uh, education, even if it's only one or two years, but it is too less to average. Uh, the lack of schooling and poor edu uh, education have negative effects on the population and country. Uh, the children uh, leave school without having acquired the basics. We've greatly imp impeded the social and economic development of their countries. Inequality between uh, girls and boys, the education on girls in is jeopardy. To, today, it is girls who have the last access to education. Uh, they make up more than 54% of the non-schooled population in the world. Mm. According to the United Nations Development Program data, uh, 103 million youths worldwide don't have basic literacy skills, of which 60% are women. 
the right support can improve learning even under the most difficult circumstances. The following is a top 10 international organizations committee to provide universal access to the quality education and lifelong learning opportunities. Those are the largest organizations considering the number of the employees but also their impact which which covers a wide range of countries and beneficiaries. And now we have table. Mm, UNESCO as the biggest organization to supporting uh, poverty. Mm, a number of, pro of employers uh, are not really mm, important for us. Mm, maybe area is worldwide, uh, millions of beneficiaries and impact is, is, is really important for us. Uh, room to read. This is also a very important organization that uh, brings uh, brings children where they don't have even a school buildings. Uh, uh, they give them opportunity to have building uh, with uh, with some books, and mostly uh, those children. Uh, mm, in that can in that in that countries, uh, the ma the main the main goal is to uh, teach them how to read. This is the basic, and um, and this is I think very important. As third organization is Educational Development Trust. Uh, it is also worldwide. Uh, um, Pearson. Uh, World Learning Incorporation, Education Development Center, American Institute for Research, and TAFEC Queensland, a British Council, and Creative Associates International Incorporated. Uh, it should be, we can see that per persons have uh, also publishing a books and British Council. I hope I think also. Mm, this is a source data. Uh, UNESCO is the only United Nations, ag uh, Nations agency responsible for uh, encompassing all the educational fields. The organization has made the commitment to transform people's lives by leading the global education 2030 agenda through sustainable development goal uh, for being steadily involved in a redesigning uh, the education framework unesco expands its activity for from preschool to higher education and beyond uh, through cooperation advances policy guidance capacity development and advocacy unesco highlighted to the necessary to identify uh, identify a collective action to unprecedented uh, repercussions of the covid 19 closed schools and uh, universities in 138 countries and 1.37 billion children are in health. In those circumstances, it is mandatory to urge the implementation of SDG goals and modernize the educational system. SDG means this this program, uh, Sustainable Development Goal. Uh, sorry. Mm. The educational outcomes of the room to read. 26 million books were distributed uh, through their project since uh, the year 2000. Uh, 37,000 schools became organizations partners, organizational partners. 10,000 teachers were trained each year. Almost 82,000 girls received support in order to improve their educational skills. Uh, from the position of the consulting organization based in the UK Educational Development Trust works to transform lives by improving school and uh, schools and educational system either directly or indirectly added T team has reached uh, 2.3 million learners 96 uh, thousand, thousand uh, educational practitioners and 6,000 educational establishments including school, schools technique and vocational education and training, but also higher education providers. Change the perspective of education by linking it to the uh, way people aspire to live. This is why Pearson's workers do in 70 countries of the world. They create content, curricular assessment and digital service to learners 
uh, educational institutions, employments, uh, governments, and other partners. The organization tries to defy time honored methods of educational and present the last trends in order to change the educational approach. World Railing Incorporation is the next organization uh, positions itself as a unique international organization with provide education exchange and development program. Mm, staff member of the support to individual is uh, it's active in uh, 162 countries of the world. Mm, focused on advanced learning uh, 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 of advanced uh, lasting solution to improve learning educational development center has been a leading leader since 1959 in designing innovative programs in more than 80 uh, countries around the world ebc collaborates with public and private partners to provide individuals families and communities with necessary abilities to achieve a better future more than 47 percent of uh, their projects are implemented in africa and asia American Institute for Research is a driver of transformation, uh, transformative changes in a, a, a education system through the research and evolution, evaluation. Sorry, uh, policymakers and practitioners get access to imp important information they use to identify solutions to crucial issues and challenges from the educational field. Air uh, accumulates all the aspects of education from pre-kindergarten uh, programs to post-secondary education, careers, readiness, and adult education. An experienced training provider offers personal and professional uh, development to covering a range of institutions from entry-level certificates to bachelor degree, more than 1,500 practical uh, lead courses on uh, developed by Deaf Queensland team to over. Mm, this is this is from Queensland. Mm, equality of education standards need investments, and the conclusions are mostly like that. Uh, investment in education can minimize uh, future investment in humanitarian aid. Investment in education developing can bring equality and better standard of living opportunity that is why supporting people is less in the less developed states is so important because it brings profit for both sides mm. Mm. if you have any question you can uh, contact me mm. and